Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Barack Obama has led tributes to Donald Trump after the presidential candidate was shot at a campaign rally with political figures across the world joining in wishing him a rapid recovery. The former president appeared to be shot in the air as gunshots were fired towards him at a rally in Pennsylvania. Trump grabbed at the side of his face and blood spattered across his cheek as several popping sounds were heard, sending supporters running for safety. Secret Service agents killed the gunman within moments. The former president quickly pumped a fist at the crowd to show he was not severely injured, as Secret Service agents raced to the stage to hurry him away. And well-wishers have already rushed in to support the 78-year-old with former Prime Minister Liz Truss, Reform UK leader Nigel Farage and Tesla boss Elon Musk among those reacting to the assassination attempt. Mr. Farage posted on X, formerly Twitter, mainstream media have spread a narrative of hatred against my friend Donald Trump. I hope they are proud of themselves. Disgusting people. Mr. Musk, who is the chairman of X, said, I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery. He then added, last time America had a candidate this tough was Theodore Roosevelt. Former Prime Minister Liz Truss struck a similar tone, saying, pray for President Trump. Pray for America. The president's predecessor Barack Obama posted, there is absolutely no place for political violence in our democracy. Although we don't yet know exactly what happened, we should all be relieved that former President Trump wasn't seriously hurt, and use this moment to recommit ourselves to civility and respect in our politics. Michelle and I are wishing him a quick recovery. Trump's fierce political rival Bernie Sanders breached the party divide and offered kind words to the former president. Political violence is absolutely unacceptable, he said. I wish Donald Trump, and anyone else who may have been hurt, a speedy recovery. Meanwhile, the Republican presidential candidate's son Donald Trump Jr. posted on X, he'll never stop fighting to save America. International leaders have also responded to the shooting with Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying, Sarah and I were shocked by the apparent attack on President Trump. We pray for his safety and speedy recovery. Trump's campaign said he was taken to hospital following the incident, but said he is fine, and thanks law enforcement and first responders for their quick action during this heinous act. The gunman was shot dead at the rally, the Butler County District Attorney confirmed to the Associated Press. A witness told the BBC agents blew the guy's head off. The DA added that a attendee was also killed at the rally, which was being held in Butler, Pennsylvania, on Saturday afternoon. Frantic scenes took hold as shots rang out, sending Trump supporters streaming out from the stands and away from the event. Within seconds, Trump was put to the floor by several Secret Service agents as they protected him from the shooter. Early reports indicate that around 8 to 10 shots were fired, and the press pool said residual bangs were heard after Trump hit the floor. Trump stood up shortly after and pumped his fist at the crowd, leading to chants of USA and Make America Great Again. He appeared to mouth the word fight to supporters at the same moment. Trump is the presumptive Republican presidential candidate and is set to take on Joe Biden in November's election, but figures from across the political spectrum flooded in to send messages of support after the dramatic incident. Governor Ron DeSantis, who was comfortably seen off by Trump in the fight to become the Republican presidential nominee, said, At Casey DeSantis and I are praying for Donald Trump and his family. Democratic Governor of California Gavin Newsom, who has been touted to take over from Joe Biden as the party's nominee should the president stand down, posted, violence has no place in our democracy. My thoughts are with President Trump and everyone impacted at the rally today. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., the independent presidential candidate, said, now is the time for every American who loves our country to step back from the division, renounce all violence, and unite in prayer for President Trump and his family.